Okay, F-16. Okay, everybody, thank you for the call, please. Take up your hair, do your thing, and see if you can do anything to help. Chuck, let's move this reflector. Just swing it around, okay? Bobby, bring that forward about two feet. Well, where's the hairspray? It's windy out here. Excuse me. The knee needs more blood. Okay. Okay, okay. How are you? How am I? Over here. <laughs> Some Over idiot here. in a plane just tried to kill me. Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere, and our photographer, the Stockholm Wonder, told me to hire a pilot, so I hired one. You certainly did, honey. OK, everybody out. Let me check those positions. Hold it right there. I've got to tell you, Kay, the shoot's beginning to get to me. I spent three days in this godforsaken place with four of them. Count them, four of your inane, not to mention insane models. Leo, you picked them. Yeah, for looks only. Honey, in this business, that's the only reason anyone ever picks them, sadly. Ah, uh, the mother hen. That's right. The plane will be here any minute. Make up in here, clear? All right, kids, give me the moment. Month you blew your whole paycheck just learning how to fly. <laughs> Sven. <laughs> Bring your camera, Sven. You're some pilot, Tyler. <laughs> Can you teach me how to do that? Nope. I was going to do a loop for you, Alma, but I didn't get the chance. Seems to me you were lucky you didn't. Mom and I thought you were going to kill yourself. Oh, hey, I wouldn't do that. I mean to die in bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. May I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I'm Kay Dillon. Tyler Burnett. Hi. What's he doing? Oh, just what it looks like. He's taking a few pictures of you. For me. For you? Uh-huh. You see, I own a modeling agency in New York. Have you ever considered a career in modeling? Uh-uh. Should I have? Yes, I think you should. You've got a real good look, and uh, I might like to represent you. And did I say something amusing? No, I just... Uh... A kind of a funny way to make a living. Oh, by uh, funny, do you mean unmanly? Maybe. You know, people fussing with your hair and putting makeup on you? Muhammad Ali has been making commercials recently, and he obviously has no objection. Look, I know my business, and over 40% of it is representing male models. Some of them are making a fortune. What would you do if you had a fortune? I don't know. Get a place, some land, build a house, I guess. Never had that, been on my own since I was 16. Yeah, that's what I do. And just how long do you think it's going to take you to get that staying here? Hard to say, maybe never. You know, if I felt that way, I would still be a secretary in a 7th Avenue bra factory, having my fanny pinched by out-of-town buyers with fat fingers and bad breath. Think it over. And if you decide yes, I'll find you a place to stay in New York, and I'll see to it that you don't go hungry. I'll get you the right clothes, the right haircut, and the photographs, all for a percentage of what I think you can make. 
correction of what I know you can make. A lot. Either call me, collect at my office, or contact me here before tomorrow. I'm staying at the Desert Motel, room 44. <laughs> Ciao. There you go. Thanks. Who is that woman? She's gorgeous. Her name's Kay Dillon. I says I can be a model in New York. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Uh -huh. What did you tell her? Uh, I said I wanted to settle down on a place of my own. Pretty girl, I have about ten kids. But you're not gonna go to New York, are you? Hmm. Well, depends on what's for me here. What's the matter? You're all greasy. <laughs> well, okay, I get cleaned up. Pick you up about seven, huh? Tyler, I can't go out with you tonight. I promised Billy I'd drive with him to Reno. Well, I thought we had a date. We did, but he's just in town for the weekend. You can call me tomorrow, though, okay? <sighs> Bye, Mama. Have a nice time, Alma. I have some sandwiches left over, Tyler. You want one? No. Yeah. Thanks. Pretty expensive-looking car. His daddy owns practically half the state of Nevada. He sure does spoil him with all that money. I'm hung up on him. Well, she's young and she's pretty and... Tyler, I just don't think she's ready to settle down yet. Except me with Billy and his share of half the state of Nevada. Well, I wouldn't be all that surprised. Could you blame her, Tyler? Somebody from my office will call you tomorrow. Don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll see you later, Tyler. or something? <laughs> yeah, with my plastic surgeon. I had my eyes done, second time. Two years ago, the whole face. 28-year-old face, 35-year-old body, younger than springtime. Wow. Uh, come on and make yourself comfortable. Sit down. I appreciate you letting me stay here. Oh. Any friend of Kay's is probably a friend of mine. <laughs> there are still some things in the closets I'll have them picked up later in the week. Well, well, well. Hmm? Hey. Your uh, replacements arrived. Tyler Burnett, Gary Angelo. <laughs> Cowboy, huh? Well, I worked on a ranch. Uh, well, it's too bad Kay didn't find you a couple years ago. The ranch type was big then. Well, see you around, Chucko. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Why do you move out? 
Just bought an apartment on Central Park West. There's uh, some beer in the fridge. Help yourself. Thanks. Bring me one too, will you? Yeah, sure. Too bad I didn't do that. What? Oh, the real estate thing. Well, don't you work anymore? Here. Well, uh, I should say not as much as I used to. But Kate comes up with enough jobs to keep my bills paid. You like her? Kate Dillon? Mm. <sighs> oh. oh. She cares about people. And I adore her. <laughs> Cheers to you. And welcome to the land of Oz and modeling where the proverbial yellow brick road can be a little tricky at times. Yeah? Mm. Tell me about it. Mm. Scene. Yellow brick road, somewhere in New York. Curtain up, act one. You've just arrived in town. You're young, hungry, and anxious. And you die, die for that first job. But you don't give up easily, no. Instead, you say to yourself, I'm going to make it. Even if I have to lie on a couch with someone. Just like in those terrible, <laughs> ugly stories you've heard about female models and, and, and starlets. But not with Standing to bed or not to bed. Sometimes, somehow, it really does happen. Oh, you get your first job, <laughs> and your second, and you get your third. Very important third. Which brings us to Act Two. Oh, stardom and success. Success beyond imagination, where suddenly everybody wants you. We want him. <laughs> Sign him. Get him. What about Act Three? Nobody wants you anymore. When you go back to dying. Oh, oh, welcome, Tyler. Good luck in your eyes. Oh, I sure know how to grow them out west. Yes. Oh, but do we need another rugged outdoor type? That's not what I have in mind for him. Dare I ask? Well, he's got that natural, raw sex look. I see him shirt off, body glistening, a cougar ready to spring. I'll buy that. All we have to do now is clean him up. The hair is good. Nice and thick. It needs a good styling. And we've got to lose those sideburns. Don't cut it too close, Roddy. I don't want anything obvious. I'm never obvious. <laughs> His brows are too heavy. Mm -hmm. Do a little waxing. Mm -hmm. I think I'll uh, dye the eyelashes. You can talk. Sure, talk. I'm on. Oh, boys, why don't you take a coffee break? Those two furries start fixing this and doing that. Tyler, those two gay gentlemen happen to be the best that there are in this business. They have helped to create literally some of the biggest names in modeling. Well, you don't make... Now, you, Tyler, are not a model. Not yet. But we are going to try and turn you into one. Well, why the hell did you bring me to New York if you have to change everything? Oh, I just wanted you to be another pretty face in my collection of pretty faces. Get yourself another pretty face. I really think that you can be more than that. 
I really think that you can be a big male superstar model. Do you know what that means? At least a quarter of a million dollars a year. How does that grab you? Fine. Grabs me just fine. Good. Then let's get ahead with it. My way. Why can't I just do it just the way I am? Your way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. They're doing interviews tomorrow for a catwalk. I'll send you in the call just the way you are. Good. Okay, boys, take the rest of the day off. The Robert Redford of Madison Avenue obviously doesn't do the art. That's all, Valerie. Thank you. Next. Next. This is Tyler Burnett. Who sent you? I'm from Dylan Models. Take off your shirt. I want to see your body. Take it off. Can I give you some advice? Get yourself a hairstyling. Do something about your eyebrows. I can't see your eyes. Where's your book? My what? Your book. Pictures. Well, I don't have any. I, uh, I just got in the city. What is this, amateur night? Maybe you could shoot some tests. Forget it. Send in the next one. Kate Dillon ought to know better. Next. Next. Hey, howdy, cowboy. Where's your horse? Listen, they have some nags pulling handsome cabs up in Central Park. In case you get lonely, huh? <laughs> There was a lot of bread waiting out there for me. All right, I don't got anything else to do. Good. But we do it my way. I hate to say it, but you two are worth the obscene amount of money that you charge. 
Was that a compliment? I believe it was. Mm. Let's go celebrate with a diet drink. So, what do you think of yourself? I don't know. I'm not sure it's me. On the other hand, it's not supposed to be, is it? I read somewhere that in this business, you people are selling illusions. <laughs> well, that's one theory. I have another. Oh, today's male model is the new sex symbol. For men, someone to emulate. For women, the private Adonis, the ultimate fantasy lover. Look around, you see it everywhere. The, the male body running rampant and beautiful and selling everything, everywhere. So I say, here's to that body, to those biceps and those triceps and all those other muscles that go bang on billboards and magazine covers and calendars and posters. Join me in the toast. Um, to good legs. And a white on white smile. See, what it all adds up to is a return of that good old American commodity known as lust. Only this time, it's turned around with the accent on you men. Lust. Mm-hmm. Low down, but high tone. Heated, but harmless. Lust. You sure say it real easy. Do I? Mm-hmm. It's not that easy to come by. Commercially speaking, that is. But you and I are gonna have one hell of a try, Mr. Tyler Burnett. You know something? Mm. I think we're gonna make it. We're really running late. Okay, put it on. Where? Right over there. You don't have to be embarrassed. I'm not wearing anything underneath. Oh, well, nobody cares about that kind of thing around here. Just put it on. Here. I want to see him with a very arrogant look, but kind of sensitive, you know what I mean? I understand. Yeah. As opposed to the macho. Yeah, I don't want that. We, we, we've had a hundred of this. I want, right. I want you to bring out a sensitivity. Mm -hmm. I don't have this pink background. Well, I just... you know the editors love pink. You know, well, I mean the editors love pink, but this is for his composite, you see. Now, so I think just, let's get a few more rolls of notes. I've already ordered. ordered. No, I don't think you get the cassette player. Have you enough tapes? I've got plenty in my case. Okay. All good jazz. Hair and makeup are ready for him now. Exercise, pal. You said us. What? And maybe strain this beautiful body? <laughs> yeah. Hey, a little older, but still beautiful. You've got something on your mind. Come on, tell Chucky all about it. How many interviews I've been on in the last month? Ah, uh, you'll make it. Uh, you know. I can tell. 
Besides, Kay says you'll make it. And Kay's never wrong, huh? Well, almost never. Has she ever talked to you about her ex-husband? Uh-uh. Well, he was a teacher somewhere up in Connecticut. And she was very young and very impressionable. And, well, they got married. It was all fun and games for a while. Till he started uh, fooling around with one of his students. And uh, he dumped her. That's when she came to New York. Wow. It's a strange apple, this big apple. Yeah. I'll get it. Yeah. When? <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. I love you, Madge. Bye-bye. I got a job. <laughs> Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> I got a job! Okay, look into the camera. Save the interesting attitudes for Vogue. This is a wholesale catalog. All right, uh, fella, you want the end? Put your hand in your pocket. No, the other, the other hand, the other hand. Uh, all right, Amanda, put your arm through his and lean on him. Okay. And give me a big, big smile. What's the matter with you? I'm a little weak in the knees. I always get the beginners. You know, as soon as you two stop socializing, maybe we can take a couple of shots. Would you move this six light in, please? Put your hand in your pocket. You don't have a good memory, do you? Laurie, would you blot them off a little bit? Yeah. All right. Blondie, you on this end. Just move in. That a girl. That a girl. Okay, now everybody stand still and let's have a big smile. Bye, Ed. That's a good one. That's a good one. Now we're going. Now we're on a roll. Keep smiling. Now. Aha. We're on a roll. Okay. Now you two on the ends. Get out, will you? Just get out. Ned and Amanda, you stay right there. Lori, uh, we're going to move in a little bit now, so let's get some bounce light out here, okay? Want an orange? Yeah. Thanks. I always bring fruit to these sessions for energy. Use some of that. They keep standing so still. My legs were starting to shake. Just bend your knees a little, especially between shots. It helps. You doing this long? A year. You? First job. You like it? Well, it's not exactly what I imagined back in Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Um, you wouldn't want to maybe... Uh, Go out with me sometime, would you? I'd like to, but I'm going to California at the end of the week. I'm going to try to work out there. Huh? Hey, Brunette, you better get ready for your next change. Marty says he'll be ready for you in five minutes. And Linda, I forgot to tell you. You can go now. It was nice work. Well, thanks for the orange. Sure. Good luck. I hear they grow them out there. What? Oranges in California. Oh, yeah. Take care, Tyler. I hope we meet in a cover sometime.
and who is this gorgeous creature you've brought with you? Tyler Burnett, this is Austin Klein. Austin is the publicity genius who planned this whole party. Oh, just a worker bee doing his best. Oh, don't be modest, Austin. Everybody knows you're the queen bee. Oh. <laughs> well, let's go into the party. GQ. Oh, Gary, congratulations. Well, you're still the most beautiful agent in the business, huh? Thank you. Right him, cowboy. What an ingrate. He signed with another agency the other day. What? Because his brains are in what he's going to fall on without me to represent him. I'm gonna go use the restroom, okay? <laughs> Darling, I thought I'd lost you forever. Did we just stay here? Tyler. People commit crimes to get invited to this sort of party. Bunch of weirdos and queers. I have told you not to use those words. You know, of course, that Chuck is gay. Yeah, I know. That's too hard to figure. Doesn't bother you living with him? No, it doesn't bother me. It's different. It's a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then why are you so damn judgmental about all the others? Why don't you just accept the fact that we are all free to live our own lifestyle and do exactly what we please, okay? Come on, I'm thirsty. Buy me a drink. <laughs> hey, Dylan. Oh, I am going to have you blacklisted. Hi, Ward. It's good to see you, too. I've got you on conflict of interest with Veronica Davis in that Superman commercial. Could we talk about this on Monday? She signed a contract. It ran out. The hell it did. Tyler, would you get me a scotch and water, please? Well, what are you waiting for? Get the lady a scotch and water. Please. Oh, boy. Please, Tyler. I'm thirsty. I really wish that you would not bring these subjects up. Scotch and water, too. Please. Have you been to the private rooms yet? That's where all the action is. I'll check it out later. Now, don't wait. Well, what makes you think you're so tough, Dylan? Oh, you are. What? Oh, why wait? Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh, you are. What makes you think just because you are a woman that you can do the kind of thing that you want to do? Tyler! Tyler! What? What? Damn it, Tyler, when I got your help, I'll ask for it. Are you all right? Are you all right? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm not. I'm sorry. Are you out of your mind? I'm getting out. You are not getting out. Watch me. very important man. Now, his ad agency controls some of the biggest accounts in this town. So he gets to do whatever he wants, huh? Like manhandle you. He was drunk. He was just blowing off steam. You have to understand that people in this business, they're the temperamental. They tend to overreact and say things they don't mean. Okay. 
All right, I'm sorry I ruined your party, all right? Ty. Why'd you call me that? I don't know. Somebody called you Ty before? Yeah. My dad when I was a kid. You want to make fun of that, too? Use that sharp sense of humor of yours on something new. No. I... forgot what it was like to have somebody do battle for me. So, thank you. I never know when to believe you. You can believe me now. I'm grateful for what you did. It was just a little too real for the world that we live in. Tonight we do it my way. Madam, ready for her bacon and eggs? Bacon and eggs? Yeah. What do you usually have for breakfast? Black coffee and a vitamin pill. Breakfast is a very important meal, you know. Gives you energy for the whole day. Well, it's a very big vitamin pill. Mmm. That does look good. <laughs> maybe I should start coming over every morning to fix you breakfast, huh? Mmm. Or maybe you should come over the night before and we can plan the menu together. <laughs> Good morning. Mm, good morning. Oh, it is nice to have a man about the house. Tyler, have you ever thought about taking some acting lessons? <laughs> no, I mean, really, commercials pay real well, and Tom Selleck was paid a fortune for his last movie. Don't you think about anything but business? Oh, I was thinking about something else. Why should you be limited to print when you're so good in action? See how one thing leads to another? Cosmetics. Yes, he is. Mr. Burnett, call for you. Hello. Break a leg, baby. Huh? That means good luck. So break a leg, but don't let anything happen to your face. Understood? Yeah. Yeah, understood. You're tense. I can hear it. A little bit tense, yeah. Who wouldn't be? Well, I thought you might be, so that's why I called. I want you to relax and think positively. You are perfect, and I know you're going to get it. Thanks, Kay. I mean it. 
And I want you to believe it, too. Listen, I've got another call. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. Well, well, it's not the not-so-lone ranger from what I hear and read, huh? Oh, dear. Oh, listen, if you're going in for the fever job, don't bother. I just tested for it, and I've got it nailed. See you around, cowboy. Hello? We're ready for Mr. Burnett. Mr. Burnett, they're ready for you. I'm Marsha Rothstein. You're... Tyler. Burnett. Right. This is Mr. Breedlove, Leonore Fields, and Mr. Holly. Well, well, well. And how's your temper today? I thought you were gonna hit her. You're not paid to think. You know what they say. You're paid to show off your pectorals and your tight butt. I understand you're new in town. We'd like to see your portfolio. Very nice. It's a fresh face. Give him the copy. Let, let's test him. It's one line, but it's very important. Uh, Mr. Burnett, would you like to stand over there on that mark? Would you like to rehearse it once? Just. Say the line and look directly into the camera. Try it. Let her catch the fever. Okay, let's do it one more time. And this time, make it more suggestive, sexier. you to be nervous. One of them was the guy from the party. The guy I roughed up. Ward Hawley is a professional. He's looking for an image, not a friend. Your martini's getting warm. And I'm getting cold. Catch the fever. Try it. And let her catch the fever. Well, have we seen enough? Yes, let's pick one. I favor Gary Angelo. I agree with Leonora. Ward, it's your campaign. Well, you know I like blondes. Yeah, well, then it's Angelo. But when I, uh, when I see the other one, Tyler Burnett, he's more than just a handsome face. He looks forceful, impulsive, dangerous. I'd like to go with Burnett. And it's Burnett. Sign him. All right. Tyler, we're here. Very hot lad. I'm Tyler from the front. Understand? Just be a minute. Okay, let's see the outfit. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yes, it's beautiful. Very nice. Let's see more of it. Very good. 
Um, needs work on the hair, Kate. But I'm ready. Let's go to work. All right, let's clear the set for rehearsal. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning. That's fine, Clarence. Ready? Tyler, come take a position in front of the mirror. Quiet, please. Hold the noise now. Quiet, please. Give the director the set. All right, that's fine. That position is fine. Laura, chit to your left a little. I can't see enough of you. All right, that's fine. That's good. All right, let's swing the camera into position. We haven't got all day. All right, let's rehearse it. Okay, this position is fine. Take off the rope, please. And let's rehearse it. Okay, pick up the bottle of fever. Hold it higher. Let us see what it is. That's better. Now take off the cap. You don't have to really do it now, just pantomime. Shake some into your palm and slap it on your face. Enjoy it. Let us know it feels good. A smile. That's better. That's terrific. Okay. Uh, all right, check the light in that bottle. Okay, now more cologne, and this time rub it on your chest. All over your chest. Feels and smells great. That's it. You're enjoying this whole thing. Enjoy. Enjoy. Good, good. That's better. We'll work on that look, okay? All right. Now put down the bottle. On the mark. I don't want you looking down. I can't see where the mark is. You can't see the mark. Okay, we'll fix the mark. Okay. Now turn and look directly at camera. Right down the throat of the camera. I want a real hot look. A real sizzler. Now, say the line. Try it, and let her get the fever. Try it and let her catch the fever. <laughs> Damn, one line and I blow it. It's okay, you got it out of your system, okay? We'll get the mark fixed, okay? Charlie, move that light over there, the one on the bottle, and let's start over again. Okay, coming in, Chief. Try it. And let her catch the fever. Fever. If you haven't got it, get it. They've been running that commercial on all three networks for the past month now. Do you realize what that means in residuals? Hmm. Breedlove's just had the biggest week of sales in their entire history of products for men. You're the reason. Hmm. And they know it. Ward Hawley called me about the possibility of you doing a personal promotion tour, hmm? All the major stores in all the major cities. Well, it would only last for a few weeks. And I've got so many other offers for you. All this in just six months. Ty, it's, it's incredible. Oh, I don't want to go on a promotion tour for a few weeks. Oh, baby, we're talking about a lot of money. You don't want me to go away for a few weeks, do you? Well, it's... It's not a question of want. Then what's it a question of? Well, it's, uh... What you want more. Hmm. Unless... You want both. <laughs> Clickety-click. Always thinking. All right? I'll take both but with you as a priority, or else forget it. sensitive now. More romantic. That's it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Good. Yeah, lighten up a little bit now. There you go. <laughs> Good. Now go back to that intense look. Yeah, there you go. I love it. Good, Tyler. Your smile's great. Stay with that. Stay with it for a second. Now go back to that strong look. 
strong and sensitive. That's it. Strong and sensitive. Stay with it, man. Good shot. Good. Now cool down a little bit. That's it. A little bit more mellow. Uh huh. No, it's great. <laughs> Fantastic. It's great. It's real happy go lucky. There you go. Out of sight. Looks great, Tyler. Stay with it. This Madge, the Tyler Burnett Memorial Wall. <laughs> no way, you've got a lot more living to do. Boston. Yeah, let me buzz. Tyler, hello. Scott Lawson, Tyler Burnett. Hey, I'm really glad to meet you. How are you? Scott's the new client. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. I'm sure you'll do great. I hope. You ever take another minute of this scintillating conversation? Here. We'll go through these later, okay? Bye, Scott. See you around. See ya. Have you seen this? Huh. Boldly provocative ads in a hot selling poster. Supermodel Tyler Burnett represents the full emergence of the male sex object in our society. Not too shabby for a cowhand from Nevada. I guess. Well, I'm glad that you came by because um, I wanted to talk to you. Have you um, thought about moving out of Chuck's apartment? You can certainly afford a place of your own right now. and. I need a temporary pad for Scott. He's uh, just in from California. I don't like leaving Chuck. He's really been down lately. <sighs> Doesn't that change with the kind of dope he's on? Tyler, no one can take care of Chuck except Chuck. You know that. Yeah. Hey, look. What? <sighs> Why don't we get an apartment together? Have you thought about that? Yeah, I've, I've thought about that, but well, it wouldn't be very practical. Why? Well, what with your schedule and, and mine. I know, that's the point. We'd see more of each other. Tyler, I... I like living on my own. I would have thought that you would prefer it that way, too. Well, I don't. Still a flying cowboy looking for a home, huh? Some place of your own, somebody of your own. Pretty much the same thing. It's feeling like you belong, you know? Oh, baby, you are the top male model in the country. I can't belong to that. Um, you do have your own special brand of charm. Maybe you can move this weekend. I'll help you look for something. When I get back from Europe, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Donnez-nous un bienvenu à le plus fameux modèle de les États-Unis, Dale Burnett. America's most famous photographic model, Tyler Burnett. Oh, hello, Peter. Is Mr. Burnett here yet? Uh, right this way, Miss Dillon. Thank you. Yeah. 
<laughs> Welcome home. You look wonderful. You are beautiful. Hmm. What was all that about? I was being propositioned. Oh, how flattering. Not really. Oh, make you feel cheap. It makes me feel like a thing. Oh, Tyler, stop it. You're beginning to talk like a model. Let's drop that, huh? You ready to order? I'm afraid I can't stay for lunch. I think I heard you right. I said I can't stay. I've got... Whoa, to... now, wait a minute. We haven't seen each other in how long? It's been too long, but I still... But we kept on talking on the phone about the first lunch we'd have after I got back. Now you say you can't stay? I have a business to run. Well, forget it for a while. Forget it? Yes. I have worked for 10 years to get it where it is. And if something comes up unexpectedly, like important executives in from the West Coast who want to talk to me about you, among other clients, then I am going to see them at their convenience. And no, no, I don't have time for lunch. All right, how about dinner? I don't know. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Well, how about breakfast tomorrow morning? Or are you taking the whole West Coast to bed with you? Very funny. It's not funny to me. No, obviously not. Look, the work has been piling up. I have all these people in town. I'm going to have to be with them morning, noon, and night, maybe even this weekend. All right, well, how about the weekend? Well, let me have a look. Well, Saturday's a total swamp, but um, Sunday looks good. Sunday looks good? Mm hmm. Well, maybe it looks good to you, but not to me. Do you ever think about that? Tyler, you're getting laughed. So what? I will be home tonight at 10 o'clock. You may call me then, and we will talk, okay? Thanks for the appointment, yeah. Goodbye, Tyler. I see you're alone. I'd like to buy you lunch. Excuse me. Hey, Tyler, buddy boy. Haven't seen you in a while. Where you been? Let me see. Last night, no, no, not last night, the night before, some friends of mine called up and asked me if I wanted a boogie. Well, I like to boogie as much as the next guy, and when I start to party, I don't stop. Shouldn't be running around like that when you got a cold. <laughs> a cold? <laughs> oh, you've been snorting coke, huh? See your arms. You've been shooting up, too? Oh, bug off. You're gonna kill yourself, you know that? I was killed, Tyler. Two days ago. Or was it three? I got a call for a job. Not from Kay, but uh, from an acquaintance. It's an automobile show. They wanted me to stand next to some miserable, hot new sports car while hordes of people admired the car. It was to be a six-day pull at $40 a day. <laughs> That's not the best part. <laughs> the best part? The best part is that I actually went for the interview and didn't get the job. Did not! <laughs> mm. I said I was perfect, that I lent their miserable new jitney just the right soupçon of elegance, but that I wasn't young enough. <laughs> is, is that funny, Tyler? Hmm? What's the matter, Tyler? Why don't you answer me? Oh, but why should you? What do you care? Mr. Sex Symbol of these United States? Come on, Chuck, of course I care. You're my friend. Please, come on, let me help, will you? You need help. Listen, 
I was big in this town when you were still reading comic books. What has that got to do with it? Plenty. It means I can take care of myself. Hey, don't you think you've had enough? You don't need that. How do you know what I need? Let me in, Chuck. Why aren't you moving out? Kate told me you were moving out. Why don't you just go? Hey, look, look, I won't move out if you don't want me to. <laughs> Why do I care? Kate never sends over what I need. She only sends over what she needs. Go on, move out! Maybe the next one. Well, at least pretend to me. Person me. Just go to your gig in California and leave me alone. Check the straws, boys. They're all set. Everything's checked out. All right, there's a fly in Patty's hair. Come on, hairdresser, let's go. Let's get it together. The sun's gonna be right in a minute. So, Tyler, why don't you ask me out? You have to get over being so shy, Patty. Well, we're here together, and it gets so boring. I never see you at night. Where do you go? To bed. Alone? Of course. He's saving himself for the girl back home. What girl back home? Not Kay Dillon, I hope. Is it still Kay? All right, closer together, kiddos. And all of you, right into the lens. All right? Well, is it? Just is trying to take our picture. Tyler doesn't need Kay Dillon anymore. Anyway, she's in the blondes this month. Make that the past month. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. She has a Beach Boy type. Looks like a baby. Hmm. Is she considering adoption? Can't knock a woman who loves kids. <laughs> Tyler, you're supposed to be enjoying all this attention. Come on, let's have a smile. Tyler, this isn't zombie time. I know it's Los Angeles, but is that the best you can do? Yes, just take the damn picture and get it over with. All right, let's go. you back until tomorrow. Okay, if I come in? It's so late, Tyler. It never used to be. Okay, come in. So, how is L.A.? Okay. Sorry you couldn't come visit. You had three clients working. That's three fat commissions. been pretty busy, mostly thanks to you. Uh, you're quite popular these days. Yeah. Where's the kid in back? Kid? Scott. Isn't that his name? I just came from Chuck's. He's not living there. Well, Chuck's not dependable anymore. Oh. So where's Scott live at the Y? Or is he hiding in your bedroom? Don't make a fool of yourself, Tyler. Why not? You've already made a fool out of me, haven't you? Satisfied? Well, I am not satisfied. You couldn't wait for me to get out of town so you could move him in here, could you? I was seeing Scott before you went away on location. Why? 
Why not? You don't own me. Well, that's right. The liberated woman. In this case, the merchant of liberated lust. You used that word on me once. You remember that? I do. Well, I didn't realize it was coming from an expert in the field. You never cared a damn about me, did you? There were never any promises between us. Never. I'm in the modeling business. It changes. People change. Turnover's healthy. Just another piece of meat, huh? Prime Friday! Thanks to me, you're not a Nevada greenhorn anymore. You're a star. Why don't you start acting like one? Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Tyler Burnett. I, I live here. You know this man? Oh, my God. Um, his name's Chuck Lanyard. This here, too. Take him out. Appears to be an overdose. Did he have any family? Um, no. Not in New York. Where? Uh, Kansas. A town called Lee. It's the other side of Oz. Give you much time on the Yellow Brick Road, did they, my friend? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Listen, um, Kay had to fly up to Boston for the day, but I just got word there's an out-of-town shoot. Three days in Acapulco. It should do you good. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? When do I leave? Today. <laughs> So how long are you going to stay? I don't know. Depends on the shoot, I guess. Let's try to get this shot before we're too old. Please. Makeup, hair, let's get them ready. Come on, move. I have this terrific agent. He likes me. Makes a difference, you know. Kay never liked me. Of course, Kay likes you. You must have something I don't have. Yeah, blue eyes. Is it true, Tyler? Is what true? It's become you, her, and that surfer boy. No, it is not true, Denise. Come on, can we please get some work done here today? Thank you. All right, take your places, please. No, 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 nothing's happening. You're not doing anything. You look like models posing. We've been found out. Where's your vitality?
Come on, let's have a sense of enjoyment. Let's have some fun. Give me some fun. Can you do playful? Try playful. 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 What are you doing? Playful. Oh, now you're gonna get it. <laughs> All right, all right, that's it. We can't get anything more done today. Well, why aren't you shooting? These are great shots. I asked you for a simple thing, and you start acting like children. Well, it's a lot better than anything you were going for. Ah, the body has a mind with an opinion. Yeah. Your stuff is boring. This shoot is boring. That's my opinion. Keep it. I only rented the body. Yeah? Come on, Blue Eyes. I'm going to have to get out of these wet clothes. together, step by step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't go step by step. Can't walk. seen this? No. Oh, what a lousy picture. Did you call him? I've left three messages on his machine. Hmm. Do you get the impression, Madge, that he's not exactly eager to work? Too busy playing. Yeah, well, keep trying. He's got a fever commercial to do, and that he has to do tomorrow. Find him, Madge. Just like that? Yep. Just like that. You said that her name is Madge Davis. The phone's at the end of the bar. Madge, hey. Tyler, I was hoping I wouldn't find you there. Well, it seems like here's where I am, pretty lady. Kay's had me looking for you everywhere to remind you about the fever shoot tomorrow. I, th I thought that was Thursday. Well, you thought wrong. It's tomorrow. All right. All right, well, uh, I am so notified, and I will be in attendance. I'll tell Kay. Oh, uh, Madge, um, do me a favor, would you? What is it, Tyler? Uh, don't tell her where you found me, would you? Just say, uh, you left a message for me on my machine. I, I got it, and I called in, okay? No big deal. All right. Now, you do me a favor and go home. Like a good little boy. Tyler, please. Okay. Okay, as soon as I hang up. See you, Madge. Bye-bye. Isabella. Mm. You said there was a party tonight. You didn't say what. <laughs> okay, let me see the backdrop, please. Looks good. No, yes, that's fine. We'll go with that. Okay. Well, that makes us ready. He passed out. <sighs> Put him in a cold shower. Okay, he can't stand up. Well, hold him up and. 
Walk him around. Get him some black coffee. A B12 shot. I don't care what it takes. He's got to get on that set. Tyler. Skin is really drinking in the makeup. I better add some blusher. Goldilocks will never be, but this is the best I can do for now. Here comes Wonder Woman. How are we doing? Well, we've done all we can do. Okay, well, will you leave us alone for a minute, boys? Now you see us, now you don't. You didn't have to come down here. Yes, I did. Oh, come on, hasn't anyone ever come with a hangover before? Yes, you have. Last week for that man-style shoot. Only this time it's not just a photographer and a couple of stylists out there. It's an entire film crew. Do you know what that costs? We'll try $6,000 an hour. It's not just a martini hangover, is it? You've obviously been keeping some very heavy company. I'll get straight. I suggest you do, because you can be unmade as quickly as you were made. Just like a bed, huh? Well, you should know all about that. Don't get smart with me, Tyler. That great mob of worshippers out there has been known to give a new meaning to the word fickle. Get ready for him, Kay. He'll be right there. I feel rotten. My head aches and I got the shakes. You care? Of course I do, baby. And how hard I work to get you where you are. I've got a big investment in you. Well, maybe you'll get a better return on your blonde investment. Come on, I'm waiting. Hey, Tyler, this is Bob. Listen, there's a bash at the Red Parrot tonight. I don't know who's throwing it, but it's for Liza, and everybody's gonna be there. Hi, this is Madge. You're probably tired of hearing my voice, but I have to keep trying. Everybody in town wants you. <laughs> Can we go over the list? Look, how are you? If you want to do this business in person, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I miss seeing your ugly face. My name is Julie. I had a lot of trouble getting your number, but I had to talk to you. I love you, and I'd do anything for you. Anything. Please call me. 555-4312. Hi. Thank goodness, I've been trying to reach you. Well, I had a breakfast meeting. What's up? They want to pick up some close-ups of Tyler for that fever commercial. And? I can't find him. I called everybody I can think of. I even went to his apartment. All his clothes are gone. Looks like he moved out. Come back here. Just want to say hi to everybody. A little homesick, I guess. I saw you on TV, Tyler. In a magazine, too. You were putting on perfume and going into this room where a woman was waiting in the bed. How'd that turn out? <laughs> well, I would tell you all about it, Frank, but I don't want them to have to revive you with smelling salts. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Burnett, if you're not a sight for sore eyes. Hey, Mr. Rockwell, how are you? I didn't think we'd ever see you again. Well, why not? This is as close to a home as I ever had. In fact, I just came from town. I've been asking about some land I'd like to buy. How's Alma? She's fine, just fine. She'll be sorry she missed you. Well, I thought I'd be staying a couple days. Well, that's nice. Everything looks the same. Things don't change much around here. Yeah, 
Um, oh, yeah, I better be hitting on the road. I'll catch you later. Take care, Tyler. Okay, it's me. Tyler, where are you? Uh, Nevada. Nevada? I, I did it, Kay. I, I bought a place of my own. It's beautiful. And I want you to just please forget about what happened. Would you get on a plane tomorrow morning and come see it? Tyler, have you lost your mind? Look, it has a natural spring, freshest water you ever tasted. It's a place we can get away to. We need that, Kay. Both of us need that. Tyler, listen to me. You have caused a lot of trouble disappearing the way that you did. Now, you cannot just go where you want, when you want to. You've got commitments. I am talking about something important. I don't think you know what's important. Now, listen. I have got a very lucrative offer for you to do a poster. Poster? Who the hell wants to do a dumb poster? I want you to for a dumb $100,000 plus royalties. Oh, baby, let's not argue. Just get on a plane and get back to New York. When I'm ready, I'll, uh, I'll be thinking about it. I'll be in touch. Tyler. Goodbye, Key. had to come by and say hello and congratulations. Oh, you, uh, you heard about the place I bought, huh? I'm talking about your success in New York. All those commercials and advertisements. Tally, you're so famous. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, but I feel pretty much the same as I always did. Except you're not. People all over the world see you and think about you. And I wish I was remembering all those times that, that you took me out and you wanted to make love to me. Well, well I think about it a lot. make love to you all the time. Those women in the magazines. <laughs> sure. Just about every night. Well, I don't care if they do. Because now I've been with you, too. The only problem is I can't tell anybody, not anybody. I'm practically engaged to Billy. That's okay. At least I know it. I made love with somebody famous. Is that why you come here tonight? To make love to somebody famous? I've always liked you. You better get dressed. It's still early. Just get out of here, Alma, will you? You've been serviced. What is wrong with you? You used to want me to sleep with you, and now I did. You didn't sleep with me, Alma. You slept with a magazine.
not easy to reach. That's right. Not much of a road. Most people would give up. Lucky for you, I'm not most people. Lucky? Yes. I've come to save you from yourself, Tyler. No, thanks. It's exactly what I came here to get a hold of again. Ah. The real Tyler Burnett. Yep. And I asked a guy to real person. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, real people should think realistically. You walked out on a job, Tyler. Yeah, well, I couldn't get through it without getting on that merry-go-round, booze to party and drugs to work. I decided I had to walk out. The Breedlove Company doesn't care whether you have to take something to get to work or not. They're threatening to sue you. And me. Why you? Because I'm your agent. Now, people like Breedlove don't sue for modest amounts. How would you feel about losing all of this? Well, I'd be right back where I started, wouldn't I? Oh, you sure would. Without anything. Including this ranch. Tyler, I thought you wanted this so much. I do. Well, uh, right, I'll come back for the job. I'm not going to get down on my knees and ask you this, but I want to know, maybe... Don't. Tyler, please, don't ask me anything. What's going on with you and Scott who, huh? His name is Scott Lawson, and... Yes. It's still on. We can still make the six o'clock plane, Tyler. Be sure this is in the clear, Steve. This is what we're featuring. Look at her. And let that look tell her that she's the reason you are here. You know what you want from her. Cut. Very good, Tyler. Very good. I think she's got the idea. Welcome back. Are we done? You are. I've got to get one more close-up of the bottle. Oh, yeah. let's put a on this. Thank you here. Fred. Well, uh, goodbye. See you, Tyler. See ya. Bye-bye, Tyler. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Move in. want to get a close-up of the bottle of fever. Frame it about so. Well, what's the occasion? My farewell party. Do you waltz? <laughs> Madge, what's going on out there? Oh, excuse me, I've promised the last dance. Oh. I came to say goodbye. Who are they leaving? I fulfilled my contract. I am really leaving. I used to feel very uncomfortable about this sort of thing. Observe how easy I do it now. I got a very interesting offer for you today. Must be somebody else you can send. We've always got somebody else. Not for this one. They want to test you for a big part in a television series. The lead. The starring role. Do you realize what that means, Tyler? You could go to L.A. tomorrow. They'll pick you up at the airport in a limousine. They'll put you up at the Beverly Hills Hotel. All expenses paid. No sale. You mean that? I am going home to stay. I'm glad. I'm happy for you, Tyler. I bet you are. Bye, 
it. You didn't tell him, did you? That it was all over between you and Scott before it ever really started. No. I didn't tell him. Why not? <sighs> because I love him so much. And I didn't want to see him end up like Chuck. 